This is Kampong Spur province in southeast Cambodia. It is one of the poorest regions in the country and also one of the most forested. For most of the people here, their livelihood depends on producing charcoal, like Van, who spends his days checking his traditional ovens that go two meters below the ground. You see, I just put the logs inside the oven and burn them. It takes more than a week to finish the burning process. Here, this is the number one business. Everybody does it. There is good news for the area. Charcoal sales are booming. I'm on my way to Phnom Penh. It's going to take me three hours. I'm selling at Takmao Market. Producing charcoal is our business. We have always done it. Despite being pivotal to the province's livelihood, charcoal production is an environmental disaster. Traditional ovens produce alarming quantities of carbon dioxide. Here is the main marketplace of Tak Mao, close to Phnom Penh, the end of the charcoal trail. It sells well, it's not too expensive, and it can be used to do many things, to cook food, to boil a soup. There is no problem with charcoal, it's natural and less polluting than gas. It's our way to cook. We use it to grill fish. It produces just few fumes. It has no negative impact. Charcoal is very good for cooking. I use it for my daily life. It's harmless. The majority of Cambodians use charcoal, and its use is rising due to the economic recession. The local people, even though they know the impact charcoal and deforestation have on the environment, well, they don't have any other alternatives. So this is why we have to provide them with business opportunities so they can make a living for their family. We expect to get some results from the Copenhagen summit. But you know, it's the big countries, such as the United States or China, which produce a lot of greenhouse gases. So they are the ones who should be leading the way. And before anything else, they should prove they are really committed into doing this. A commitment or not. Southeast Asia is the main source of carbon dioxide emissions on the planet, and these emissions have increased 250% in the last 20 years.